Welcome to our reflections on Sunday, uh, which is the day before our summer special holiday club begins. That we've been getting very excited about and putting an enormous amount of work in. We've got about uh, three hours worth now of edited video that's going to go out on YouTube tomorrow at 10 o'clock. The first day is going to go live. At the top of this uh, posting on Facebook, uh, you'll be able to see some of the links to YouTube and we hope that they'll go on the circuit website as well uh, so that everybody's able to just click and get involved. We would love it if some of the grown-ups in the circuit would also get involved in joining the Facebook group um, and uh, that means that you can tell us some good jokes and just join in as much as you can. What we're going to be doing in Summer Special Holiday Club this year online is we're going to be, uh, as you will see, looking at what it means for us to glow and to shine with the light and the love of God. We're going to be looking particularly at some of the characters in the book of Acts and the way in which they glow and shine uh, for God in sometimes very difficult circumstances. And we're going to be taking the families and hopefully yourself uh, through some of these stories of the way in which God makes a difference into people's lives. Because that's, that's what the Holiday Club's all about, trying to transform children and young people's lives and families' experience of God's love as well. And we hope that you might be able to get grabbed by something that God wants to do in your life as well through it. So the first day we look at the story of Peter at Pentecost and the way in which, despite feeling that he'd let Jesus down, he was the one who became the skilled orator persuading people to become friends with Jesus. Second day we look at the story of Stephen, the way in which he was able to hold on to faith uh, because God's love uh, had set him on fire, no matter what circumstances he found himself in. Third day, we're going to look uh, at the story of Philip in Acts chapter 8, the way in which he listened to God and to God's promise uh, that he would be with him no matter what, and that he took holy risks, and that had enormous fruitfulness. Then we skip for days four and five to Acts chapter 16. We look at Lydia, that businesswoman who was uh, impassioned to offer support for, for Paul in his ministry in Philippi uh, and was very, very generous because that's the way in which God touched her heart. And then to Paul himself, imprisoned with Silas uh, for speaking about Jesus uh, there was a, an earthquake, uh, the chains fell off, but they didn't run away. They thought about the jailer who would get into trouble if they escaped and they transformed the jailer's life. They thought of others, but that's the way in which God sometimes principally impacts on our lives. The Holy Spirit of Jesus was the uh, element that was empowering them all and will empower us as we seek to make a difference in people's lives today. But I want to take you particularly today on Sunday back to the story of Peter. And the gospel reading set for us today is uh, Matthew's version of what's called the Caesarea Philippi story. It occurs in Matthew chapter 16 and it's where Jesus asks the disciples, who do people say that I am? And then, who do you say that I am? And Peter, a lovable rogue that he was, always opening his mouth and putting his foot in it, actually this time got the right answer. And this is to a person who Jesus has spoken to just the chapter before and said, Oligopiste, oh you of little faith, when Peter had sunk underneath the waves when he tried to walk on the water. 
But now, in Matthew chapter 16, Peter is the one who is told, you are the rock on which I will build my church. The one of little faith becomes the one on whom it all depends. There's an amazing turnaround. And later we know uh, Peter lets Jesus down. But then Peter is transformed by the glow shine of God at Pentecost into the one who will indeed uh, be at the forefront of the building of the church. I wonder if maybe this week you might do something different and you might uh, look into this thing that we have put so much effort into. Go on to YouTube if you're able to. Follow those links. And yes, there'll be some stuff on there that, that may not mean much to you. Although it would be brilliant if you got involved in it all. But maybe God's saying something profound and deep even through this children's ministry that we have undertaken, impacting our lives to say, yeah, how can you shine and glow and be on fire with the Holy Spirit of Jesus impacting our lives and through us transforming other people's lives as well? So see this as a challenge, as an adventure, maybe as a risk, but also we hope as a great encouragement. Remember, it was Peter who was the one who was told. Peter, with all his failings, with all his weaknesses, with all, yeah, his opening his mouth and putting his foot in it, he was the one on whom it all depended through God's grace. Same for us. <laughs>